Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is another what I eat in a week. Um, my last one did really well and so many of you guys asked to see another one. So that is what this video is. But it's actually more of like a busy week edition. I was so on the go last week. Um, and that is when I filmed what I was eating. I was very much like in and out at an event. Um, I've been doing the house. If you want updates on that, I've also done a vlog, which was last week's video. But yeah, it's basically a very, very realistic what are you gonna day. A lot of it's snacking. Um, and then part of this video is very kindly sponsored by HelloFresh as well, which was so convenient last week. As a little disclaimer, I don't eat the same every single week, which I mentioned in my last video. And I don't track calories, but I might have mentioned them in this video. So so if that does trigger you in any way, please do not watch this video. I have loads of other videos you can watch. Yeah, I hope this just gives you a nice insight into my diet and I hope you enjoy this video. Okay, so breakfast this morning, I'm gonna have one of these instant coffees, the toffee nut one from Nescafe and just boiling water. They actually are so nice, they go really frothy with just water. And then I am boiling two eggs, um, and I'm gonna have this on a slice of toast. This is quite a random breakfast for me. I don't usually have like eggs and toast, but I don't have much food in at the moment, to be honest. So I don't have much choice. And yeah, I'm in a bit of a rush today because I've got a busy day ahead. So I want something that's gonna fill me up. And I do actually have a little egg timer in here as well. I don't know where I got this. I think you can probably get them on Amazon. But basically, it starts off red. There's like different lines for soft, medium and hard. And it turns... I, I was going to say black, but it actually turns white. I can see it already turning. Um, and then when it reaches the line of where you want your eggs then they're done. So yeah, it's just a really easy way to make sure that you're not gonna overcook or undercook your eggs. And yeah, I'm gonna have these on a slice of toast and that will be my breakfast. Hopefully this makes a bit more sense now that it's actually turning a different color. But yeah, you can see that it's just on medium and a half. So I'm gonna take them out any second and then put them on my piece of toast. And this is the final breakfast. It doesn't look like much, but I'm really fancying it and I feel like it's gonna settle the craving and fill me up. So yeah, it's almost just hard boiled, but still a tiny bit runny. I've got it on some sourdough bread. Okay guys, please excuse the state of me, I have been DIYing all day, which will actually be in a vlog probably already up on my channel. Um, so yeah, hopefully that will explain a lot. So I've sort of been vlogging today and trying to remember to show you when I've been eating. But because today has been so busy, I'm not gonna lie, I haven't eaten that much. I had my eggs on toast this morning. Then I had some snacky like crackers, things, crisps, and I've just been snacking on them all day. It was sort of my lunch and snacks. Um, and then I had a Diet Pepsi to keep me going because we didn't have much food at the place and we were just go, go, go. So I'm very glad that I chose to have some toast this morning because it did keep me full for a couple of hours. But yeah, it's now half past six and I'm starving. I'm gonna have um, some of these olives whilst I cook some dinner. Mm. But luckily, I have a good old hello fresh box and i'm very excited to say that this part of the video is sponsored by hello fresh i have worked with them in the past and i just love their brand i love cooking i love food so yeah it just seems like the perfect collab to me about hello fresh if you don't know what they are where have you been they are so convenient for cooking really nice healthy meals um and just having like a set routine in your week. I don't know about you, I think I did explain actually um, in my last video that I love to plan my meals for the week. And HelloFresh is all about that and all about convenience. So this week I have chosen four, I think four, four meals, which won't necessarily be dinners, but lunches and dinners. So we've got a spicy Cajun prawn risotto, which looks so nice. And they're all numbered at the top and then each bag, or the ingredients, 
has the number to match. So number four is the risotto. Then I've got this creamy mushroom stroganoff, which is number 18. That one. I got them for two people as well because, again, I can just have the leftovers the next day. You can get them for like four people or more. So then we've got, what's number 22? Pan fried halloumi with roasted vegetables and pesto drizzle. Yum. I did actually choose these, but I can't remember which ones I chose. They have so many recipes on there. And then I've also got the creamy green veg and pesto pasta so yeah a nice mixture i've got some veggie ones the halloumi and the mushroom one actually i think they're all vegan they're all veggie apart from the prawn risotto i think i'm gonna go for the mushroom stroganoff actually i, feel, I really fancy it so on the sheet it gives you all the ingredients which will be in your bag um so yeah this is number 18 and it will all be in this bag all of the correct amounts and stuff which is just so good and you don't waste any food that way because when I go like fruit and veg shopping sometimes my veg goes out of date if I don't actually use it so yeah you're not wasting food and then you also get the actual recipe on the back exactly how to cook it step by step with all of the um, tools you need and stuff and also all of the nutritional info if you're interested in tracking calories things like that so yeah it's so so convenient i love things like this it just makes your life so much easier i'm just gonna snack on some more olives whilst i'm getting it ready it also tells you how long it will take to cook so this takes 20 minutes for a full-on meal and that sounds like a bit of me also what i love about working with brands like hellofresh is that i'm gonna get a discount code for you guys and i'll leave all the information on the screen in the description box because yeah i love to help you guys out with a little discount i'm gonna put the rest to the side i will pop them in the fridge in a second but just whilst we cook this um stroganoff i don't think i've ever made a stroganoff and that's what i love as well like you just get inspired by so many new recipes that you probably wouldn't have cooked before seems pretty easy so first things first we need to cook the rice i'm not gonna lie to you guys i'm very good at cooking rice that is one thing i'm probably gonna mess it up right now because i put the pressure on myself but i'm just gonna let that rice cook and then quarter all of the mushrooms. All of the ingredients are always such good quality as well. So we've got our mushrooms in. Hopefully that's not gonna steam up too much. So I need to brown these off for a few minutes and then we're gonna add the smoked paprika and basically then some stock and some creme fraiche and then we add the spinach and that is as easy as this recipe so I'm gonna tidy up a little bit and wait for those to cook down. Always tidy as you go guys because then it's not as bad at the end. It's already smelling so nice. So I'm just going to put these in the fridge like this so then I know what's what and it's all together and I did actually choose the delivery date to be today as well. You can arrange it for like whenever you want. I do actually have as well where I have used HelloFresh in the past. I've kept some of their old recipes that I've used before so I can make them again because I remember them being so good. Especially this mushroom risotto. That was really good. So yeah, you can keep the recipes and then reuse them as well because they're always bringing out new recipes. Yum. I'm going to finish the steps for this and then I'll show you guys what it looks like when it's all plated up. So this is the final dish. Honestly, I have to tell you my kitchen smells so nice. Um, so yeah, let's give it a little taste test. I added the creme fraiche and parsley on top. This really was so quick to make and so easy. And this is what I have left over as well because it was for two people. Um, so yeah, I can have that for lunch tomorrow. Taste test time. Thought I'd just stand up here just whilst I try it because the lighting's pretty good and you're already set up, so why not? I'm gonna try and get a bit of everything. I told you it'd be typical that my rice didn't turn out perfectly today. Mmm, wow. Wow, for something so simple, that is really nice. My mum 
actually i feel like my whole family i'm gonna mix it up a little bit would love this especially zoe and ed they really try and be veggie a lot of the time in the week they live just down the road from me so this is definitely an easy dish that i can pass on to them i really recommend if you've never tried hella fresh honestly give it a go it is so convenient and i think it just makes cooking a little bit more fun um because it takes the stress away especially if you're someone who's always on the go and has a really busy day and doesn't get in till late and just doesn't want to like think oh what am i gonna have for dinner tonight it's all already already done for you i will leave all of the discount information down below don't miss out and i'm gonna go enjoy my dinner hi guys i'm just watching some tv my dinner was so good i'm really feeling actually um but it's been about an hour since i ate it and of course i have to have something sweet it's just the way i am um and i have some ben and jerry's cookie dough in my freezer from the weekend i bought it for because um my cousin was coming around so yeah i'm just gonna have some of this yeah this is gonna be my dessert and probably the last thing that i have today i'm just watching some youtube i'm catching up from the weekend tomorrow's gonna be a really busy day actually because i'm going to an event um with rimmel i'm gonna be vlogging as well um so i'm getting picked up from here about 2 p.m so i'll probably have breakfast here and then the rest of my food at the um event and then that's overnight so i'm assuming i'll have breakfast there on thursday but you'll see all of that tomorrow and yeah i will see you in the morning good morning guys so first things first i'm gonna make myself a coffee today i'm going for an iced one from my machine and that's really loud i'm really sorry um, and i'm just frothing up some i've actually got almond milk today because they didn't have any oat milk when I went to the shops. And this is probably my second favorite um, milk. So yeah, I'm just having a nice little iced coffee. I'm not actually sure what I fancy for breakfast yet, but I am hopping out in not long, so it'll be something quick. I love my iced coffees. Sometimes, um, depending on what milk, usually almond milk, um, and oat milk are quite sweet but sometimes I do add like one sweetener if I feel like having a sweeter coffee but I'm going to try it first oh yeah that's quite strong I'm going to add a sweetener also I always get questions on my cups and well glasses and straws they're both from Amazon and I'll try and find the link down below I love these glass straws I think they're so cool and they're actually really nice to drink out of oh my gosh this is what i'm looking like this morning um i actually don't have anything in that i want right now if anything i would love some fruit but yeah to be quite honest i just don't have any in the fridge so i'm going to have this coffee and maybe i'll have to pop out and get some fruit on my way out but for now i'm just gonna have my coffee so i bought some goods over this is what i'm gonna have for my breakfast some fruit like i said i really craved so yeah this is breakfast. I wish my kitchen had this light, but my kitchen faces away from the window. But never mind, I'm gonna make the most of it right now. But we've got some mango. One of my favorite fruits, to be honest. Mm. I bought this, but I might actually just leave this for my dad because I don't really fancy it. quickly what i eat in a day video i'm filming like eight videos at once at the moment um i thought i was getting picked up at 2 p.m turns out it's 1 p.m so i had one less hour i was gonna make myself a nice lunch but i'm gonna have these just as i run out the door and i'm just hoping that there'll be lunch when i get to the event later um so yeah i'm gonna have these from aldi they are just the mini cheddars but aldi version Back to be picked up any minute.
in this video but yeah I have been at the Rimwater event so yeah I've just been picking up the camera when I've been eating obviously to show you guys what I've been having but I haven't really been explaining because it's been like loud and there's been loads of people there um, and yeah I just wanted to get some quick snaps but I just came back from breakfast and I had some scrambled eggs on toast and it was really good it was on sourdough toast I had an iced coffee and also this morning they gave us a cute little package at the front door and i'm not actually opening this so i'm gonna have a look now and i'm also gonna have some orange juice because i had an iced coffee at breakfast oh. but so i've said this was really good and oh my god it really is it's really fresh i did also actually go to the gym this morning with the girls it wasn't like an amazing session but <gasps> Wow, oh my God, they've given us some pastries. Freshly baked downstairs because we literally went into the bakery to make bread yesterday and saw these being made. So I know how fresh these are. And they smell so nice, I might actually have a bite of one. It wasn't like an amazing session, but I definitely feel better for it because I've not been able to go this week. Um, mm, mm -hmm. Yeah, it's quarter to 11, another beautiful day. And I'll probably check in with you guys when I get home and have lunch. Okay guys, so I have just got back from the fun event and it is now half past 12, I think, almost one o'clock. And I'm a bit um, hungry. I'm not starving because I did have quite a lot for breakfast. I had quite a lot of toast, which was quite filling. But yeah, I'm about to head out. So I do want to eat because I'm not sure when I'm not gonna eat, but I will probably take some snacks because I feel like I'm gonna be hungry soon. I am gonna have my leftover um, Hello Fresh meal from the other day. So this is the mushroom stroganoff. For me, it was a few days ago, but in this video, you would have seen like a couple of minutes ago. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna have for lunch now. It's just a little portion. I feel like this video is very realistic in terms of a busy week. Um, I've just sort of been eating on the go like yesterday it was a lot of like snacky stuff um, and I feel like this whole week has been a lot of snacks and like eating when I get the chance to um, and yeah I'm really hoping I can have a nice big meal tonight but yeah I feel like this is definitely a good representation of an on the go week eating when I can so yeah I'm not gonna lie to you guys being again 100% transparent I really like leftovers cold I don't know if that's weird my boyfriend finds it a bit weird like if we have a leftover takeaway he'll heat it up and I'm like no I just have it cold um let me know if you do that because I think my sisters do that maybe not all the time but they definitely like aren't opposed to it um but yeah I just like cold food sometimes like hot food left cold I quite like so yeah I'm gonna have this for my lunch and I'll probably have some snacks really soon to be honest okay, just got to the house and I stopped off at Starbucks I'm so tired today so I've got another coffee I don't usually have two but I feel like I need it and this is actually the new brown sugar shaken espresso with oat milk so I thought I'd give a little taste test I've seen a lot of stuff about this online Apparently it's like been brought over to the UK um, from America. Mmm, I like that. That's really good. It tastes like caramel latte to be fair. Yum. So I got that. And then I also got some crisps and dip. I think it is a little bit later in the afternoon and I'm hungry for a snack. Um, sour cream and chard dip. I did want to get some sweet chili sensations, which is the dream team. But this flavor 
like a, a chili flavor crisp with this dip is also good. Yeah, I'm gonna snap on this. And what is the time? I think the time is about, yeah, it's 3 p.m. It is dinner time. I'm having another HelloFresh meal. This is the spicy Cajun prawn risotto and it's just finishing off. So I'm about to serve it. It looks so good. I love a risotto. I love prawns. Um, and this was so easy to make. I'm gonna dish this up now. Um, I'm really hungry for it, so I'm very excited. I'm gonna top it off with some spring onions and I actually made a lemon crumb thing for the top, which was part of the recipe, which is really easy to make. So yeah, I'm gonna dish this up. I tied my hair back because it was just getting very much in the way. This looks so good, guys. It smells amazing. It smells very lemony and fresh, which, I'm all about those flavors. Okay, I'm gonna try and get a good bite for you, a little bit of everything. Cheers. Mm. Oh my God. Oh my God. That is so good. Oh, it's got a kick. That is so, so nice. I'm gonna eat this now and I will see if I have anything for dessert. I forgot to mention it is actually eight o'clock, which is quite late for me to eat dinner. Um, But, as I've mentioned a million times, it's been a really busy week. And this recipe says it serves two, but probably could serve three. I've got so much left over. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna continue eating, but I thought I would just let you know the time in case you were wondering. I don't actually know what the time is, to be honest with you guys. Um, I think it's about 9 p.m., quarter to nine. And I am going to snack on some sweets, my favorite thing. I've actually not had sweets in a while. But these were in the hotel room at the event yesterday. And I bought them home, I put them in my bag and I was like, I'm definitely gonna want those later. And I was right. So I've got some candy kittens in sour watermelon. These are very good. Um, and I think they're vegan. Yeah, they are vegan. This is what they look like, if you don't know. So these are gonna be my dessert. And then, I think I'm going to film tomorrow and that will be it because tomorrow is Friday. I don't know if I mentioned that I missed out Monday this week because I was very hungover. Realistic again. Um, I went out on Sunday and I was really hungover on Monday so I basically had some toast with some jam and then just a chilli. Um, but I just was not in the right state to film. Kind of embarrassing but true. Um, and yeah, so I've just done a four day week this week. I hope you don't mind. But anyway, yeah, I will film tomorrow. So yeah, I'm gonna have these, go to bed, and I'll see you for breakfast in the morning. Good morning, guys. It is Friday, one of my favorite days of the week. And oh, you can see my missing nail. I'm actually gonna go get my nails done today, which I'm very excited about. Um, but I've just been on a little run. To be honest, I was really, aching from the gym yesterday. I didn't even do that much, but because I've had some time off, I can really feel it. So yeah, I've come back. I'm gonna make myself a protein shake. I say that because I don't actually, I've been like trying to not use so much protein. I went through a phase of using like a really big portion of, um, I'll show you what I use. Um, this protein powder and I had it almost every day. Um, or days that I was working out. And I didn't know whether it was stopping me from toning slash like dropping a few pounds because I know that protein, some people say that it can make you gain weight. It's a bit of a controversial to topic. Um, but I think where I eat like everything, I eat meat, um, I eat dairy and things like that. I eat eggs, which is where protein is. I don't know if I need protein powder if you know what I mean so I'm trying to um have like half a portion and sometimes none just to see if I feel any different and see if it makes a difference um this is just something I'm trying I'm not an expert on it I've just had so many different opinions um 
So yeah, please don't quote me on anything that I've just said. I'm just, you know, giving you my honest experience with it. Um, I do really like this flavour though. So yeah, I'm only going to put a little bit in because I do actually think it makes the shake smoothie coffee thing um, come together a little bit nicer as well. So I've made this a million times now, but I always get questions on it. So I just made this up one day, I think in lockdown, and I just use loads of ice, use a banana, which fills me up loads and also makes it really nice and thick, adds a bit more flavor, one of your five a day. This is just really good for when I'm not feeling really, really hungry for breakfast. But I just want, obviously, something to fill my stomach. I use one banana. I did actually try this with frozen bananas once, but it didn't actually work as well because it wasn't as creamy. Yeah, I just break up the banana. I love them a little bit. Well, I guess that is ripe, but, like, just like it a little bit green. I add a little bit of this protein. So it does actually come with a scoop. And yeah, I used to fill this all the way up, um, but now I just sort of put in a little bit. Then I'm gonna add a shot of coffee and mix this up. And sometimes I need to add milk, but sometimes I don't. Okay, so grand reveal. Yum. Okay, this is what it looks like. I'm putting one on my phone, by the way, because my camera died yesterday. And this silly girl forgot to charge it. Mmm, that is a good one. Sometimes I make it too watery and it's a little bit light. This is my brekkie and I'm actually going to my mum and dad's for dinner later, which will be nice. She said that she's cooking a curry which is one of my favorites. So yeah, anyways, I'm going to drink this and I will see you when I next eat. Okay, we're back in the same place <laughs> for lunch. I promise I have moved and it is, um, it's half past one now and I'm gonna make myself a jacket potato. Um, so it's just in the oven and a little hack, I actually prod um, the jacket potato with a knife wrap it in some kitchen roll and put it in the microwave for like five minutes. Just makes it soft and then it takes way less time to cook in the oven and get crispy. So yeah, instead of putting a jacket potato in for like an hour, hour and a half in the oven, I whack it in the microwave for five minutes and then it only takes like 20 minutes to crisp up in the oven. It's not like as good, but it's still pretty, you know, similar. So I'm gonna have it with some tuna and I've just put a tin in here and then I like to add salad cream and mayo and then also salt and pepper. Got a seasonal tuna. There's one thing that I can't stand and it's just tuna straight from a tin. Yeah, so this is what it looks like. I'm gonna give this a mix and put it on my jacket potato. Very easy, nice filling lunch. I feel like tuna tins have got smaller, you know? see it's nice and crispy i just cut off like the you know little uh what they called like s the things that sprout out when it's a little bit over overdue being eaten and yeah there we go a nice crispy but soft jack of potato I used to eat jack potatoes so much more than i do now but when i remember to have one i so enjoy it so yeah, this is my potato. <laughs> I'm gonna add the tuna on. I like to add a bit of cucumber to my plate as well, just to add some veg and some color. And that is my super easy tuna jacket potato. I'm gonna go eat this now. And what's new, I'm in a rush. I need to pop out in like 10 minutes. I'll probably see you for a snack at some point this afternoon. It is about half four in the afternoon and I'm having an afternoon snack. I'm just stirring my coffee with a fork because I forgot to stir it. And I have some strawberries down here. Um, got an instant coffee, this is the Nescafe one. But it's actually an Irish latte, which my mum bought, but she didn't like. And I think they taste the same as the toffee, to be fair. I have mentioned before that I try not to have two coffees a day, but obviously I had a shot in my um, 
shake this morning but i think instant coffees don't really count because i know there's not loads of caffeine in it and loads of coffee it's more like powdered milk um so i don't really mind having one of these as well as like a lot of coffee in another coffee how many times do i want to say coffee um i hope that makes sense but yeah too much of like coffee machine coffee can make me really anxious which is why i don't have more than one a day um if you're wondering that is why so yeah this one i feel like is fine and i've got one of those and then i've got a bowl of strawberries and i just drizzle a little bit of golden syrup on them so that they are really tasty and really sweet um not too much just a little drizzle and then i sort of coat them and i've cut them in half so yeah, i'm going to eat these now and then i'll probably won't eat until dinner which is a curry and i'm very excited I would be better anyway hold my hand for a while even if i know you can be mine you won't be mine you can be mine